So in the last few days, in our last few web dev tips, we've been looking at types and interfaces in TypeScript, and we've created some complex types that have got their own properties that describe the structure of an object that we want to model. But what about if the object that we're modeling has a function inside there as well? So all of these uh, types and interfaces that we've created uh, have properties which have uh, values that are equal to strings or numbers or booleans, which are primitive data types. But what about if we want to use a function inside of our object? Well, this is pretty easy to do, and we can do this in both types and interfaces. Uh, and the syntax looks a little bit like this. So say we want to enforce that there is a function inside of our user type, uh, that maybe it's something like list skills. So it's going to list the skills of this particular user. And instead of just putting a colon after this and, and creating a property, we just use the uh, opening and closing parentheses to indicate that this is a function. And then we just say what the actual function is going to return. So in this case, it might be a list of uh, strings, an array of strings. So we can denote that by saying it's a string and then using the square brackets to say that it's going to be an array. So what this is now saying is for a type of user, there should be a list skills function inside of the object that's created, and that should return an array of strings. So let's just copy that down onto the uh, interface for the I user that we created in the previous tutorial. And you can see now that the user object that we previously created uh, is now giving us an error because it's saying that the list skills property is missing or the list skills function is missing. So we need to implement that when we're creating our object. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll get this error. So this interface is now forming more like a blueprint for our object and how it should behave. And you can see we've got all of the properties that the object should have and any functions that it should have as well. So let's just quickly implement the list skills uh, function into here. Uh, so we'll just say it's an arrow function and it just returns an array of a few uh, strings. So we'll say TypeScript and JavaScript, for example. And you can see now the error has disappeared from uh, Visual Studio Code. So now we're not getting any TypeScript compilation errors. And you can also specify arguments to the functions as well. And you can type those as well within your interface. So let's just say num and give it a type of number, all in lowercase. And now the list skills function should be expecting a uh, an argument to be passed in uh, that has a type of number. And this would be provided in the arrow function here. Let's just call that provided num. You can type that again just to make sure it's the right type. So when you call this list skills function, you need to make sure that you're providing uh, this particular number. When you're defining the actual user object, if you were to change this argument and put it as a string, for example, you'll see that we get an error again uh, saying that the argument that we're creating within our list skills function uh, doesn't match what is provided in the interface in the blueprint. So uh, we're getting this compilation error here. So there you go, there's an overview of how you create functions in your types and interfaces and how you can pass values in and return values from them. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.